I jumped off the porch, nose was leaking his snots. Hemp was leaking from the leg, big homie was shot. BG caught a couple in the night to the top. All my relatives been acting since when niggas was tossed. Ten of ten brothers home, what was happening is fuck. Say that's my brother, motherfuckers, you ain't ride with us. Keep a sh What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and we back in the shop today. So today we're gonna go ahead and um, rock with the Camaro. Um, somebody jumped in my comments and said, um, asked for an E85 update, and I realized that I haven't done one. I did the install video, but I've never done the E85 um, update after the tune and everything like that. So. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in the Camaro and I'm going to do basically a side-by-side -side comparison right now the car is on 491 so there's no E85 in there or nothing like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do uh, I'm gonna record the speedometer on and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison on 91 and E85 so after I do the 91 I'll go ahead and throw some E85 in it once the gas tank is like low um, and then we'll go for a E85 so we can get the full experience and then we'll um, uh, do side-by-side -side comparison and we'll time both of them and see uh, the difference. That's kind of how I'm going to do it um, because the car hasn't been dynoed or anything like that and um, I haven't taken it to somebody to do that. So we're just going to use the butt dyno today. So anyways, um, I don't really show too much of the Camaro like that because you know I feel like the channel doesn't really rock with the car that much and also too um there's not really that many modifications that i'm doing to the camaro um I've, I've told you guys the plans for it but um there's nothing really happening and going on with the car right now and it's kind of hard to just continue to drive around talking about the car especially it being a fifth gen maybe if it was like a hellcat or something like that or something newer um i could drive around and talk about it all the time but i mean we've seen fifth gen camaros for the last 10 years or whatever so anyways um we're gonna go ahead and do that um and let me know in the comment section if y'all would like to see the camaro more or whatever you know what i mean um i'm pretty close to probably starting to do a little bit more to the camaro probably i won't even say pretty close i'll say probably in the springtime i'll start doing a little bit more um to the camaro once the impala is full ready to go on the road um just because i can't have all my cars broken down because i gotta drive something so anyways um thank you guys for all the love and support so um if this is your first time stopping by the channel or if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video um thank you guys like i said for rocking with your boy uh we're gonna continue to keep on throwing out as much content as possible but yeah let's go ahead and hop in the car um i'm also going to talk about the car a little bit more um because i haven't done like a uh update video of like all the modifications and all that kind of stuff in probably over a year um so we'll talk about what what the car has and we'll go over it a little bit and then we'll go ahead and do the comparison and show you guys how much faster the car is on e85 so let's jump into the video let's get started and then um yeah let's do it all right y'all so um <clears throat> i said that i was gonna talk about the car a little bit um so i got it parked got it running too so basically what's done to it is obviously it's supercharged got the roto valve cold air intake got full exhaust i don't know if you can see but slow master headers on it shorty headers and then up under here is the e85 uh the um, kit for the E85, you know what I'm saying, with the fuel lines and stuff like that. Um, so that's really pretty much all that's done to the car. Um, obviously, you know what I mean, it has Flowmaster exhaust, like I said. Um, got the quad exhaust tips, obviously that's not performance, but underneath there, I don't know if you can see, but it got Flowmaster tins on there. Um, probably still has a stock. 323 gears in it i think that's stock not 100 percent sure um but yeah so there's really not that much done to the car um 
So the next things that we're probably gonna do, we gotta upgrade our fuel system. We gotta upgrade the injectors, the fuel pump. Um, and then also we're going to probably, if I keep this car, we'll go ahead and cam it. Cam it, probably do a full motor build, pull the motor out. Um, obviously do the drive train, um, I mean drive shaft and rear axles and stuff and make it uh, structure, more structurally sound. So we're gonna do all of that, man, if I decide to keep the car. Um, yeah, and everything else is just cosmetic stuff that I've done to the car, you know what I'm saying? The 22 inch wheels with the, the tire stickers, that blacked out carbon fiber kit, stripe kit in the front with the blacked out grill and the splitter. Um, what else, it has halo fog lights, but they're not hooked up yet. LED side marker lights. Like I said, man, I just wanted to talk to talk to you guys about the car a little bit. Obviously, drill and slider rotors, as you can see. Anvil spoiler, carbon fiber. Um, it has Tech Nostalgia uh, tail lights, and I think that's pretty much it as far as what I've done to the car. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep on uh, working on it. Like I said, if I decide to build it, then um, that's what we're gonna do. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this E85 comparison um, and see what it what it looks like side by side. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about what the car has and what I've done to the car before I do this comparison. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then um, I'm gonna get this engine bay cleaned up. So um, stay tuned for the comparison. I'm about to do a side by side. Right now it's on 91. I'm trying to run the gas out so that I'm on full E85 because there is a significant power difference you know what I'm saying you can definitely feel the difference when you're on E85 compared to um, non E85 so yeah we about to get we about to get that in real quick all right y'all so we just below a quarter of a tank um I tried to run the gas out this morning you know what I'm saying driving around the whole city and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and throw some E85 in here and I'll drive around a little bit to mix it around so that, you know what I'm saying, I get mostly um, E85 up in there and then we'll go ahead and test it. I wanted it to be on full E85, but obviously I couldn't run the gas out and I'm tired of driving. So let's go ahead and throw this E85 in there. 91, E85, baby. I'll throw this E85 up in there and then uh, we'll see. See what's popping. We'll do this little comparison real quick. Alright, guys, schoolers, that's going to be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was just an E85 to 91 gas comparison. Um, you can tell the difference, like I said, the butt dyno is the car is a lot faster on E85, and you can tell. Um, so some of the comparisons are obviously the E85 runs out of gas a lot faster than the 91, um, just because it's pushing more power into the motor and it just drinks gas on E85. Um, another thing is obviously more power. Um, I think that the supercharger sounds louder in the second clip than it did the first clip um, when I was on 91. So I don't know if, if it is louder or not, um, but it, it does definitely sound louder. The, the camera was in the exact same position on my steering wheel, so I don't really know. Um, <clears throat> so with, with, you know, obviously the E85, you know what I'm saying, puts more power to the ground, you know what I'm saying? And also too, um, when I'm on 91, um, it has, it spins the tires in traction control, but um, traction control grabs it. In E85, it's like there's no traction control. Um, obviously, you know, there is traction control and eventually the traction control grabs, but I can do a, a burnout in E85, or on E85 with traction control on. Um, also too, I'm spinning the tires around like 40 miles an hour um, between first and second gear. I'm, I'm spinning the tires on E85. I don't think it can do that in 91. Um, I might be mistaken, but like I said, on E85, I'm, I'm spinning the tires at like 40 miles an hour. So, um, E85, I'm thoroughly impressed with it. Um, I enjoy being on E85. Um, I don't really like to 
necessarily do it all the time just because of the simple fact that you know it's more power through the motor more stress more wear and tear and stuff like that and it's not really um you know like it's cheaper gas um don't get me wrong but it's, it's harder to find than just regular 91 um fortunately for me there is two e85 stations right by my house so it's not really that big of a deal for me but if you were to do e85 i would suggest you know you plan out your field trips because you know especially if you're only on e85 you can only run e85 but fortunately for me i can run both e85 and 91 so um i'm not really tripping too much on that also too on e85 my my check engine light did come on and i think because like I said, if I do any any more upgrades to the motor, I'm out of fuel. Like so, basically, what that means is I need to upgrade the um, fuel injectors and the fuel pump and all that stuff before I add any more power to the motor. Um, I also forgot to tell you guys that I need a tune, or I I, I have a tune. So um, when I was explaining to you guys what's done to the car, so it is tuned um, to run E85 and stuff like that. So um, that's it man um i hope y'all enjoyed the video like i said it was just a comparison i wanted to throw the camaro back on the channel because you guys haven't seen the car in a while and i haven't done like too much with the car other than doing that e85 swap which i did months ago so anyways um i hope y'all enjoyed the video hit that like button if you did hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video and go ahead and share it with a friend who might enjoy the content as well. But um, thank you guys for everybody who is subscribed, all the new subscribers. We're trying to get to a thousand. We're more than half the way there, so we're getting there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys uh, once again. I appreciate it. Um, and always remember, work hard so you can live free.